Hi traders, you may have come across ICT or AKA Michael, ICT concepts and smart money concepts, demand or supply. Now you're wondering if these concepts work in the market that you are trading. The answer is not as simple as a yes or no. Let me explain. Apart from Forex or future indices, we have markets such as commodities, we have stocks, bonds, cryptos, and I even receive a comment asking if ICT concept work in the India market. I feel like everyone is asking the wrong question here. Instead, we have to figure out how to apply micro knowledge specific to the market that you are trading because the fundamental concepts are built upon price action and market structures. Let's go into each specific market and see if we can identify some of these concepts and if we can apply to your trading. Okay, looking at gold, we can very clearly see that our order flow has been bearish. What I mean by order flow is bearish, we can clearly see that our up close candles are supported and we have new lower low new lower high new lower low form in the market this is a very clear bearish structure bearish market and our bearish fair value gap has been filled and our bearish order blocks are res are respected on the long term we can clearly see that the price has been going down however just very recently we have our break in market structure and market structure shift right over here this is our market structure shift not only we have a very impulsive move up the price also break our structure right over here this is our break of structure so this is very clear of if you haven't watched my previous video this is my high probability displacement setup this is a very clean price action the uh, shift in market structure let me quickly mark up my chart this is our market structure shift and we have our break of structure right over here and the price has been taking out all our liquidity right over here right over here and the price tap into our bearish order block right over here and our fair value gap right over here as well so for the past few days and few weeks actually and the price has been very bullish and the price has respected the fair value gap right over here before we go down to the lower time frame let's mark up our previous day high and previous day low this is our previous day high and previous day low there are a lot of liquidities residing around those areas especially previous day high previous day low or even on session high session low what i mean by session high and session low is our london session our new york session even asian session those areas session highs and session high are very sensitive and there are a lot of liquidities residing on in in those areas so let's go down to lower time frame to show you how we can apply some of ict concepts since we identify that our daily bias likely bias is going to be bullish because the price might want to tap into the buy side liquidity right over here buy side liquidity so let's jump into the lower time frame on the one edge after we highlight the previous day high and previous day low so ideally what we want to see is that we want to see previous day low has been taken out or the price failed to take out the previous day load and they want to target the previous day high for the buy side liquidity looking at the one edge price has been respecting this daily bullish or the uh, fair value gap and let's you know look at a little bit more price action to get a little bit more information so we can see how we can apply to our strategy because the price has been chopping around here it's been very ranging it's very sloppy around this area so we want to see a little bit cleaner price action and we can also see that we have our sell side liquidity residing over here And we also have our fair value gap right over here. So the price has actually taken out our previous day high. As you can see here, price took out our sell side liquidity and immediately we have a very impulsive move. So this is a sign that the market is telling me that the market is likely to be going up. 
we can go down to the 15 minute time frame and let's refine our chart so what have we learned from ict 2022 youtube mentorship we have learned after we have our liquidity taken we want to see our displacement and our market structure shift which is right over here and this is a very clean displacement very impulsive very energetic so let's go in down to our five minutes to look for our entry clearly we have our bullish fair value gap right over here and let's see you know how price gonna react to some of these areas if price gonna retrace back to our fair value gap or is price gonna continue going up we need some more information let's look at more price action this is very nice we can clearly see we have another bullish fair value gap form here and this is our order block as well we have our bullish order block right over here Once we tap into our bullish order block and fill in our gap, we can actually look for our entry setup right over here and our stop loss below this low and we will be just targeting just above this high or maybe one is to two, make it one is to two, just slightly above this high. And we'll be have taken profit and this is a very beautiful trade so let me summarize on from the daily time frame again once we have our displacement and we fail to take out this liquidity and we have our market structure shift we took out this short-term high not only we fail to break this low and we fail to make the new lower low and we have our very bullish displacement and breaking the structure and we have our break of structure and the price is being bullish because we haven't break through our order blocks and the price filled the fair value gap and the price has been continue going up the next slightly target will be this buy side liquidity right over here and even this level this is one of the way to identify the daily likely bias by identifying the order flow of the price once we go down to the lower time frame on a one edge we can see our liquidity has been taken our sell side liquidity has been taken once we see that we um, look for our setup on the lower time frame on the lower time frame we can also which is aligned with our daily bias which is bullish because we have our displacement our market structure shift and our fair value gap form mean right over here supporting with our bullish order block all these add up in confluence really support our trade this is why we can confidently take our trade right over here and just target the very nearby external liquidity which is right over here all right let's look at the crypto market Look at the weekly time frame we can clearly see that our buy side liquidity has been taken right over here and we have our relatively equal lows over here which was taken as well which is why the price has taken out our uh, sell side liquidity right over here by looking at the weekly time frame the current order flow of for the crypto market is bearish we can clearly see that our bearish order block has been respected and the price has been making new lower low new lower high new lower low new lower high and new lower low so if we look a little bit closer we can see that our fair value gap has been respected as well and we have another fair value gap right over here the price is currently making a retracement back to this fair value gap we have our order blocks these consecutive candles are our bearish order blocks the price can 
trade up to fill the gap or the price can trade up to uh, respect the bearish order block or the price can even retrace back to take out some of our buy side liquidity right over here right over here or even the price can tr retrace back into our fair value gap right over here or even our bearish order block on a daily we can very clearly see that the price has respected our fair value gap right over here and not only that we have our market structure shift once we took out our buy side liquidity once we've taken out our buy side liquidity we have a very nice displacement and we took out our sell side liquidity and we have our market structure shift after that we also have another break in market structure right over here break of structure and the price came back to retest our fair value gap and took out our buy side liquidity right over here respecting our fair value gap and we can actually enter the trade right over here and just targeting the very recent low So this is some of the ways that you can apply in the crypto market. You can play around and you know, you can backtest all the strategies, all the concepts. That's why you need to go and look for the things that the price action is showing because everything is based on price action and market structure, which is why you have to go into the market, whichever market that you are trading, you have to backtest them. You have to test it out. You have to look for some of the things such as market structure shift, uh, displacement, breaking structure, our fair value gap, our liquidity, buy side liquidity, sell side liquidity, those are the main concepts that you can apply in the crypto market. If we have a very similar setup again right over here, we have our fair value gap and our bearish order blocks, these consecutive candles are our bearish order blocks. Let's get rid of these, these. And once the price has taken out our buy side liquidity, we have our market structure shift again here and now the price has been range bound around here so what you want to see in the crypto market is that you want to wait for the price maybe to retrace to back to these levels or even the our bullish or oh sorry bearish order block right over here so what you want to see in the crypto is that now it's range bound you want to see some sort of um fair value gap has been filled or reached back to our bearish order block once the target is reached we want to look for our displacement and our market structure shift so we can look for our setup in those condition again let's continue and let's look at the bond market so for the bond market, it's very clear that we are going in the uptrend. The order flow has been very bullish. Our bullish order block has been respected. We have our bullish order block. They are respected, which means they are not break. They hasn't been broken. We also have our bullish order block right over here. Right over here. And now these down close consecutive uh, bearish candles are our bullish order block as well so we can also see that our price has taken our sell side liquidity and respected our bullish order block and fill in our bullish fair value gap right over here so looking at this chart looking at this price action we have our break of structure and the price has been going up so our daily likely bias will be bullish let's look at the lower time frame on the daily chart so we have our break of structure so it has been going up very nicely very bullish so what we can apply is our our order blocks right over here order blocks bullish order blocks 
see you can very clearly see that the price has been respecting the bullish order block let's continue to see the price action and if we can see any setup form on a daily time frame so once we have our fair value gap form right over here this is our very high probability bullish order block so the price can retrace back into our fair value gap or even retrace back to our bullish order block and that's when we can take a trade from there the price has been very bullish the price is retracing Once we reach our bullish order block and fair value gap, we can actually take a trade right over here. Of course, this is just, an, uh, just a, a simple example for illustrating my point that we can apply ICD concept in different other markets. And we can just target this high and our stop loss below this order block. And there you have it. So many of us are asking, you know, if we can apply ICT concepts, even though ICT, he doesn't co-sign, he doesn't really teach us how to trade in other markets. But at the same time, a lot of his concepts, a lot of his strategies can be applied into uh, different markets. Of course, not everything, but some of them, especially the order blocks, the fair value gap or market structure, the price action. Uh, the displacement the answer to that question is not a simple no or yes as long as there's a price action on the chart we can apply our icd concept we can apply our smart money concept into our trading make sure you check out my previous video when i talk about selecting high probability displacement that's where you can differentiate and reduce the amount of unnecessary losses as a bonus i'll be going through the india market as requested as well so let's go into our india market so looking at the nifty 50 this is our india stock market index that track the india stock market as always we can clearly see that our order flow has been bullish our bullish order block has been respected and the price never break below our bullish order block and the price has been going up very nicely but the market has made a minor retracement right over here and the price has come and filled this fair value gap before going higher looking at the previous price action we can very clearly see that the price has taken out our sell side liquidity taken our sell side liquidity a lot of liquidity has been taken out and the spot money has accumulated more long orders fill in our gaps respected our down close candles which is our bullish order block not only that the price has made a market structure shift with a very nice displacement if you haven't checked out my previous video, I talk about selecting high probability displacement and this is one of them. The price has break and our market structure shift very nicely, very energetic move. The price doesn't really necessarily have to come back to retest the bullish order block. Once we have our displacement, we can look for our fair value gap right over here. We also have another fair value gap right over here within the displacement range the price has been trading up to a very premium that's why the price is starting to retrace a little bit right over here you can take a trade because the reason is because the price respected the fair value gap right over here and also took out our sell side liquidity resting below this short term low so if we have taken the trade, our stop loss below this low and our target just right above this high. And there you have it. So this is just a very simple way to illustrate how to apply ICT concept in different market. Of course, I didn't go into a lot of other concepts such as uh, the time zone, the kill zone, which you have to go into and backtest whether, you know, if the kill zone apply to these different markets, because especially for crypto market, it opens for 24 hours. 
which is why you have to go and backtest some of these concepts and some of these strategies in wh whichever market that you are trading. But in conclusion, we can clearly see that we can apply some of the ICD concepts. End of the day, it's more about the price action and the market structure. It's really about reading the price action and really understanding the order flow, understanding uh, how price is moving and how price is reacting from certain levels. This is why we never use indicators because indicators are lacking buy side liquidity resting above here, resting above here. And they are almost equal. So they are relatively equal high. So you know the market makers they might smash to these relatively equal highs you know to take out all the buy side liquidity resting above these areas if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video